What's up, world, man? This motherfucker John Horse. Like I said, part two. Ain't no letting up off no motherfucking gas around this bitch. So we're going to get to the bottom of this shit, man. And, and the only reason why I'm doing this story is because, you know what I'm saying, the wrong person is in the place of power. And you know what I'm saying, the story has been told backwards. As far as the movie that all y'all seen that y'all think y'all know about the Jackson family, the American dream. You know what I'm saying? More like a fucking American nightmare, if I can be real with you about this shit. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, this part two, we going to get back off into what the fuck I was talking about. And then when I last left off, we were talking about Prince Albert Scrooge and how he got left with those fucking kids by Martha Upshaw. So like I said, man, what y'all got to understand is, and I done talked to plenty of old folks back in the day, man, that times was different and things was different and, and the norm was different. You understand? So, I mean, it was secret, but it was known that it was incest in a lot of black families. As far as, you know what I'm saying, daughters fucking their daddies, mamas, you know what I'm saying, fucking their sons and shit like this. This is why I told y'all the shit get graphic. So, like I said, if you don't like this shit, get the fuck up out of this shit. Because, like I said, I'm going I'm to give you nothing but the truth. So, like I said, man, to me, like I said, I look at this dude, Prince Albert Scrooge, as a, 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 a victim. Uh, more so as a weakling, you know what I'm saying? Because what y'all got to understand about uh, back then, that uh, like I was t going back with his mother, Bella, very uh, uh, uppity. If you if you seen Bella, I mean, if you uh, look up the word Bella, you know what I'm saying, and what it means and, and what it holds, you know what I'm saying, you'll understand what I'm coming from. But as far as his mother, she was very into the culture of, 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 of the England, the European establishment. It's, it's as far as like she was down for whatever. No, no fucking, you know what I'm saying? Under consent of the king type shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, man, this lady knew exactly what she was doing because she didn't marry no other man. But she she was a, uh, she knew she was a, she was what you call an independent woman. She knew how to move. So her name was still Scrooge, and you know this because I did my research on the different and many names of Scrooge. And this is how we get to Katie B. Scrooge in a minute. You understand? And uh, I get to that well, as far as the B being so important and the Scrooge and all this other stuff because nothing changes. Uh, the more, more everything stays the same. So with that being said, we probably around like, we probably right like the late 1800s, 1900s, you know what I'm saying? And this lady, she, you know what I'm saying, raising her kids or whatever, whatever. The dude being the youngest, and this brings me back to the uh, Willie Lynch system, where the system was designed to get rid of the youngest girl and keep the uh, oldest boy in house. You know what I'm saying? This was for uh, breeding purposes and all this other shit. But black people have adopted this to this day. As far as, you know what I'm saying, protecting the sun from the dangers of the world because she was witness to that. So, I mean, if you don't understand what I'm saying, please go back and look at my evidence file and go find the Willie Lynch, the actual reading of the letter, and you'll see what the fuck I'm talking about. So, um, with that being said, like I said, I have a strong belief that, you know what I'm saying, this lady was fucking her son. You know what I'm saying? Probably around the age of 13 to 14. What y'all got to understand is that, yes, they were fucking around the age between 12 and 14 and shit. If anything, you was married. If you think I'm lying, you mean we can go to, uh, uh what's that, uh, Romeo and Juliet. You understand? And I think somewhere down the line, they was cousins. But um, with that being said, this is a European following. Of, you know what I'm saying? If you go back into your study and shit, you'll see how they tried to keep power in and shit. That's how funny little motherfuckers like George Bush and shit look like his wife and shit because they somewhere down the line cousins or some shit. But um, that's neither here nor there. I do believe they were fucking. You understand? Know they had three kids. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I mean, uh, not him and his mother, but like I said, uh, the original Prince uh, Scrooge. You know what I'm saying? They had three kids or whatever. And he was closest to his younger sister, which was named Katie. You understand? So being a victim of rape, you know what I'm saying, shit sticks with you. And you retain, you, 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 you know what I'm saying, you repeat the same pattern if somebody don't tell you that it's wrong. 
So with that being said, we're going to go back to his wife, Martha Upshaw, leaving if y'all still with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry I kind of explain shit like Kanye West. I'm all over the place, but at the same time, I'm painting a picture for y'all. So with that being said, you have uh, him left with the kids in Clayton, Alabama. He was still a worker and still doing his, uh, I guess, large duties or whatever, whatever. But he's a single father. You understand? Testosterone has to be released. All kind of shit growing up. You know what I'm saying? This is where I come up and I say, uh, well, before I start that, we're going to say it with his daughters. We're going to get a history on his daughters. He changed his daughter's name, which was Katie, supposedly, uh, uh, Catherine Scruce, which was Catherine Scruce. Well, this is what Google lies, because it was never Catherine Scruce. It was always Catherine Esther. You know what I'm saying? So he put... His, uh, cause y'all gotta understand, uh, Eastern stars can be Freemasons too. So she was put up under that star. She was, uh, her story was already written before it was written. All she had to do was follow the path, no matter what the journey took her on. That's why I say y'all need to peep the Wizard of Oz. But long story short, you know what I'm saying? As far as uh, Catherine Esther. You know what I'm saying? She was Catherine Esther until we go down and we research. She turns into uh, Nay Screws. This is where the shit get thick. Turns into Nay Screws. That's N E E. Now, if you from the South, you knew. You know we have plenty names like that. We got uh, May Ethel or Hattie or uh, Nay Johnson or. Nay, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? But we have a lot of nays, you know what I'm saying? Nay Taylor or whatever, whatever. Now, so I did my research on the name Nay. You know what I'm saying? Nay comes from a European origin where you would describe a woman before she gets married. That would be like the place of her original name. You understand? As far as Nay. So if her name was Catherine Esther, you know what I'm saying? They changed her name to... Nay Scruce, which is S C R O U S E. You understand? So that means Nay Scruce. That means she was married. You understand? But see, what y'all got to understand, y'all think about wedding bells and all that other shit. But see, you got to go back to European uh, uh, origins. No fucking under the consent of the king. You understand? So fucking was considered, especially if the public knew about it, fucking was considered you being married. You know what I'm saying? But you got to understand, these black people keeping their lineage and their, their religion and shit kept this shit under secret. So it was common to use a name like Nay Scruce. You know what I'm saying? And you think about a lot of stories, so you it, it was a lot of incest in black families. This is what people don't want to recognize, but it has to be recognized to understand the whole picture of where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? Because this lady is considered the matriarch of music. And I feel like that is a lie. You understand? The story is not told the right way. She's told like she's your regular USA mom. And she's, you know what I'm saying? Like she did everything the right way. And you know what I'm saying? She ready. Come on, man. Y'all be real with me, man. Them kids fucked up. From Latoya, Jermaine, all them kids fucked up. I mean, let's be real about it. Them kids fucked up. Why? You know what I'm saying? Had to have a sick ass upbringing. A lot of people like to blame Joe, but it wasn't Joe. You know what I'm saying? And we'll get to that. But there's a whole point I'm getting at. Like I say, you break down her name, Catherine Esther. You break down Katie. You break down uh, B uh, in the, as far as her name and how it relates to Scruce, S-C-R-O-U-S-E. You understand? Because like I said, with these lineage names, you can spell the names a lot of different ways. And one name that was spelled different was Scruce. As far as it had another lineage, which was Bruce with a B. This is how we get Katie B. Scruce. This is how we originally saying she was born a Scruce. But she we know she was born Esther. You understand this is what I'm saying? She was born Esther. But... She has the surname of Nay Scruce. The only Scruce at that time was her father. 
because her mother made up the name to keep the power of the Scruce. You understand? The Scruce family or that founded land and entrepreneur, all that other shit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make a way for themselves, just like the run other runaway slaves and all that other shit. That's how we eventually ended up becoming all one black people. Because no matter what the fucking goddamn Prince Hall Lodge did and shit, they wasn't never going to see them equal. You know what I'm saying? This is how they end up on the run with us. You know what I'm saying? But they ran different from us. They ran north. You know what I'm saying? If you peep the true indigenous people, we kept running farther and farther west. Damn near to uh, Mexico. That's a whole nother story. But what I'm getting at is we didn't run on no everyday thing, man. It was a way of living. Then you had those certain people who would give information to those generals caught and they would send people in. This is how battles and attacks and all that shit was happening. So with, let's just get back to the story as far as KDB. You know what I'm saying? So as far as uh, where we was, we'll just pick up at uh, her pops. Like I said, he was left with these kids. Like I say, um, around 12, 13, 14, if you was considered fucking, you were considered married and it was a public thing. So with that being said, the people of the county or the people who needed to know, they were, um, they knew. Because they called her Nay Scruz. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go look this up. And they got Katie B. Scruz. You know what I'm saying? She never left from being a Scruz. And if you look it up, I think it's like the keeper of records or some shit like that. Like for the family. You know what I'm saying? Her name, her meaning, like the chosen one. You know what I'm saying? Some old I want the knife ass shit. Some golden child shit. But anyway, it go. You know what I'm saying? She gives up through the, uh, through the age. You know what I'm saying? At this time, 17, 16, she's grown, basically. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people say that she got polio at birth. I do not believe that to be true. I believe that she had a first child and had a miscarriage probably around the age of 13, maybe 15. And she had a broken pelvis. You know what I'm saying? Either from sex or from having the baby. You know what I'm saying? And if this doesn't make sense to you, it maybe makes sense to you if you older like myself. You remember the uh, younger girls back in the day, they used to get their hips popped so they can spread them more. You understand what I'm saying? Some of it was by accident, but we're not even going to get into that. But the whole story I'm getting at is this is just my opinion, what I'm thinking and how I'm looking at the story. Because you got to look at the history of polo. Polio, I'm sorry, polio, it didn't get hip until like 1950s. By this time, she's damn near 30 something years old. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, I mean, uh, she's around, not 30 something years old. I'm sorry, I apologize. She's like 20 something. She's hot in the ass. She anywhere from 18 to 23, 24, 1950s. Uh, she think that's when she first had Reby. So I think she was like 18, 19. Still hot in the ass. But when they show the movie, they show her in a Christian light. Like she's, you know what I'm saying, all holier than thou. And all she do is, you know what I'm saying, make sure the kids eating shit. They don't even talk about where she worked at Sears or who got her to see, uh, hook up at Sears. Or why she even moved to eastern Chicago. Eastern Chicago being slash Gary, Indiana. See, a lot of people get confused because they be like, damn, uh, Chicago's in Illinois. But no, you have a part of Chicago that's in Indiana. It's called eastern Chicago, Indiana. You understand, which is AKA Gary Indiana. Now, this is how I believe her father made the move and why he made the move with so much pressure and so much history back in his hometown. He had to use his roots, his large roots to make it up way because what was up way? It was a new developing town called Gary Indiana with a lot of steel and organized crime and all that other shit that you would want in your big ass city like Atlanta or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So he quickly became up there, and I think, I believe he became the man around town. You understand? Because you got to, this is where Joe Jackson's story come in from. You know what I'm saying? And But we'll pick we'll pick back up. No, matter of fact, we'll keep going. Fuck it. We'll keep going. As long as we record. But my whole thing is, uh, uh with, with the Jackson family, you, they were original uh Choctaw Indians, if I'm not mistaken. They was original, originally indigenous people on the run. You know what I'm saying? They tried to develop a place uh, in Arkansas, if I'm not mistaken. Florence, Arkansas or something. 
but uh joe's daddy was real strict uh i think uh his dad was the uh the son of nero jackson the famous slave known for running and getting captured you understand that's another thing where y'all can believe that slaves wasn't all slave because it was more of like a prison, you know what I'm saying? Because these people was getting in and out, and that goes back to John Horse. How you get out two times out of slavery, you understand? It doesn't make sense. So, you know what I'm saying? If, if something don't make sense to you, you need to do your research. So, with that being said, we're talking about Nero Jackson. Everybody, you kind of get a glimpse of Nero Jackson, who he was, a famous slave, and all that other stuff. So, with that being said... Here comes along Joe. He's coming up in the upland roots. His mom and his dad didn't quite make it. You know what I'm saying? They divorced. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, I hate to put Joe like that, rest in peace. Joe was kind of a young fuck up, just like any other teenager. Young fuck up. Your Malcolm X's and everything. They was young fuck ups trying to figure out life. But he got with his mama. You understand? Know I believe his mama on her deathbed couldn't get with Albert. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he didn't want her or whatever, whatever, for whatever reasons. You know what I'm saying? But she knew that that was the dude to get with. If not, get with his daughter. You know what I'm saying? They had to. They worked together uh, at the Sears place. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people ask me how I find this information out. I find the information out. Just follow me. You know what I'm saying? Try to disprove me wrong. So with that being said, around that time, it was a lot of racism and shit. So how did she get these connections? You got to understand. Uh, Gary, Indiana, it was a heavy, uh, it, it was in the religion, Luciferian ship, bipartisan, uh, Catholic religion, which is very heavy on Jewish uh, teachings and the Talmud and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? And the Talmud, if you did your little background on that, it's a lot of sick ass shit that's looked at in a different perspective as saying that this is right. You know what I'm saying? A whole nother totally different opinion. So with that being said, she had these people. This is where I believe the story of polio came in. You know what I'm saying? And I'll break the kids down to you in a minute, but I'm just going over Catherine. As far as Catherine, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you had she was a country singer slash actor. You know what I'm saying? So she already had ambitions of gold. Probably the reason why she was in the Eastern Star. Probably the reason why she was working, trying to pay her dues or whatever, whatever. How they end up in Gary and then I don't know who their lawyer was. I don't know who their manager was, which I have been looking at, uh, looking for. And I do not know who her religious uh, counsel was. You know what I'm saying? But I do know at that time that the March of Dimes was going wrong. And you had a lot of married women and shit that was cheating on their husband and shit. Going around neighborhoods fucking and all this other shit. But they were supposed to be on the march for dimes for quote unquote polio. Which I believe it was just some big ass pimp shit and hoes was out that bitch tricking. So that's a whole nother thing. But you know what I'm saying? Back to uh her. You know what I'm saying? This is how I know she's fake because you got the polio shit. Polio, she she did not survive polio. In her story, they say that she survived polio and that's how she got the limp. Listen, around the time that she was born, which was 1930, 1934, polio was very fucking, like, unknown about. You know what I'm saying? So if you had polo, polio, you was more likely to die. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't till the 1950s that they, quote, unquote, find a, a cure about the shit. If you don't believe me, go do your motherfucking research. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I feel like that was a, a made-up story for her when, she, when Mike got famous. You know what I'm saying? Start telling her, hey, man, mom, a lot of stuff going on to me because I don't believe Joe whooped them kids like she did. She spent most of the time with those kids, but those kids still managed to be terrified as the fuck. you seen it all through the movie. You know what I'm saying? This man played for the Falcons. The Falcons were constantly on tour in the wintertime. How come she gets pregnant in the wintertime and the kids constantly come in the summer and in the springtime? You understand? Y'all use your common sense, man, and add up these dates. You know what I'm saying? Joe knew. But you got to understand, he was down with the shits too. You know what I'm saying? His mama, she was in the Presbyterian and all that other shit where they believe that the front, how, how the family looks is how it's supposed to be. But in the background, there's a lot of other bullshit going on. You understand? So with that being said, you got his mama on the deathbed. You know what I'm saying? Joe, by this time, he's trying to make it in life. But Joe's a fuck up. His mama tell him, get with this girl. 
And you know that's what she said because Joe annulled his first marriage very quickly and married Katie. But she's supposed to be the woman with the limp and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I've been trying to find music on her and some kind, you know what I'm saying? I ain't been able to find nothing. So I, I'm figuring she didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? So that led me to listen to pop music because they say she was a country singer. Man, black people invented country singing. So there's no way in hell she couldn't have made it as a country singer. I don't want to hear that. So it had to be as a pop singer. And you go around the time that she was 1940s or some shit like that, where she would be a young teenager listening to music, you hear a lot of high-pitched white women. You understand? So these are her inspirations, her goals and stuff. And this is because she's an uppity woman. She don't look at black folks like that. She, You know what I'm saying? She don't say black around white folks. She knows how to conduct business. You know, I, trust me, I got a grandma like this. I know this shit. So with that being said, we got Miss Thing. You know what I'm saying? Doing her thing outside, but doing her thing undercover. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't give a fuck what y'all say. A woman need enough motherfucker in wintertime. Need some dick. A fat nigga want something. You feel me? So somebody was taking care of that pussy. Somebody was taking care of them goddamn kids. So now we here at the meat of the motherfucking problem. Because now we got two young kids. Signed to a label. You got Joe trying to make it as an artist. You got her trying to make it as an artist and an actress. They're trying to uh, develop their dreams. You know what I'm saying? So Joe gets the big idea. You know what I'm saying? Solicit his kids. This is where he's wrong. And that Freemason order and shit come in. That, like that Disney World shit can't come and shit at. But let me tell you how this shit came about. They came up with a problem. See, first they had Reba. You got to understand it was young kids. So young kids don't know no better. They had Reba. Everything good. You had Jackie. Everything good. It wasn't until Tito came in and it all got went to shits. I want y'all to take a hard look at Tito right now and tell me he, 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 he looked like Catherine. Got any of Catherine in him. If anything, he looked like Joe mixing with some Mexicans. We got a problem. We got a motherfucking problem. You understand? Somebody ain't been doing right. Like I told y'all, man, my daddy, I done confirmed with old people. Wasn't nobody right back then. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was with the shits. You know what I'm saying? So take your morals and your logic out of this shit and understand this story that I'm telling you. Because it makes sense. All right. Well, we had three kids. We got Jackie, got Reeve, got Tito. Now, tell me I'm lying about Tito. Y'all all can go look at Cadillac Records. What happened to Cadillac Records? That nigga had a kid on the road, and the, and the lady came and dropped that goddamn baby off. Now, you got to understand what, what, what Catherine, her, her religion is. You understand? She trying to save the front. So, she ain't going to say that that's not my child. She took that child in. You know what I'm saying? And took care of just like, uh, what's the bitch name? The Wayne Wade wife? Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle Union. Just how Gabrielle Union did in Cadillac Records. I ain't say nothing of it. Because it ain't nobody outside business. But that's, that's clearly not her goddamn son. Tell me I'm lying. All right, we're going to move on. Who we got next? We got this motherfucker Jermaine. See, I don't like Jermaine because I, because me being a middle child, you kind of, you, if you're a middle child, you kind of know what the parents is doing because you get a privy of all the shit. But I feel like he knows what happened and what goes on, and he was supposed to be the star. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he was groomed. He, he too much feel himself. Even to this day, the motherfucker still feel himself. Tell me I ain't lying. Like he was that goddamn dude. You understand? But that ain't Joe's son. That ain't Joe's son. That's either the manager, the lawyer, or some motherfucker around town that was known for slinging that dick. That's three people. Or number four. That was Prince Scrooge's son. You understand? Now y'all following me. You know what I'm saying? Cause but what is weird comes becomes normal. Y'all think just because I say she was fucking her daddy that they stopped fucking? 
No. Who else was going to help her take care of them kids? You understand? Who else was going to help her take care of them kids? Then go back and look at the daddy and, and tell me. You know what I'm saying? And what y'all don't understand, Reveal Lago, it jumps generations. You understand? And it's usually, Reveal Lago is usually an ancestral disease. You understand? But we'll get to that later. You understand? That's why I don't like Jermaine. Jermaine knows everything that's going on. So then we get to the fan of the, the biggest fan of the Jackson family. Who we got? Marlon. Motherfucking Marlon. Whoever fucking, I don't believe he was a, 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 a prince a son or nobody. I believe he was somebody around the neighborhood. This is where that March of Dimes shit come in at. You know what I'm saying? He was somebody around the neighborhood's motherfucking goddamn son. Because just peep it. Joe ain't never had no twins, ain't no family, ain't no history of no twins in either family. You know what I'm saying? But this 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 this, this particular twin died. You understand? And he just so happened to be the biggest Jackson family fan that there is. And look at, look at the picture, y'all. Do this nigga look like any one of them? Look at that nigga Fro. That nigga Fro ain't even pressed out like everybody else's. You understand? Only two people Fro look the same as Mike and Jack. You understand? So with that being said, everybody in the family know that Marlon's not part of it. You know what I'm saying? If they don't know, Catherine know, and she made sure Mike know. That's why Mike ain't let his ass on the goddamn land. Man, it's Catherine run everything. Catherine run everything. It ain't Joe. Y'all thought Joe was whooping them kids, man. Catherine whooping the shit out of them kids because she had to stay with them badass kids. Come on, man. Y'all got to put yourself in that place in time. These weren't no motherfucking angels. Badass motherfucking kids and shit. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, where we at now? Latoya? We could do Latoya. I think it's either Latoya or Mike. Either way it go. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, oh, I'm sorry what I f forgot to say. Around all these time with these kids being bored, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Joe and Catherine, they going back and forth. Because they trying to keep the family together and trying to keep everybody out of their business. But internally, they is going through a motherfucking goddamn, what they call it, a, a, a adultery fucking relationship. They cheating on each other left and right and leaving evidence like a motherfucker. These ugly ass children. So with that being said, what well, we got, Latoya? Boom. And I, I know I fuck with Latoya because Latoya real. She the one who told y'all that Catherine used to call Michael a faggot and all this other stuff. She made y'all see the other side because every time y'all see Catherine, y'all always see her whining and crying about Mike. Like that's her only goddamn child. No, that was her only, that was her sacrifice. Because as an Eastern star, her ass supposed to bend out the window. She way past due. You only get to a certain age. Her story supposed to been over. You know what I'm saying? But I'll get to that later. You understand? Why she have a private management and all this other shit? You understand what I'm saying? Y'all got a peak game. Why is she worth $50 million? Why? Because she was a mama? If that's the case, then every celebrity mama should have at least $50 million just for being a mama. You understand? Y'all got a peep game. She was pulling the strings. She was the fucking puppet master. So, because Mike came to her with these problems. Mike let her know that Diana Ross and all them, they touching on me and they won't stop and all this other shit. She the one who told Michael, oh, it's love, Mike. They showing you that. Why? Because her daddy showed her that. Can't be mad at the daddy because guess what? His mama showed him that. You talking about victims of their own shit. You understand? This is how they raise this, what they know. You know what I'm saying? If you go back to Katie by the door, that means an untamed wild woman at the end of the day. If you go research that whole name. You understand? But you look at her, she just in order. She got her shit together just like a true Eastern star. Ain't slipping on shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we back with Latoya. I feel like her and Joe was going through it. And she was like, well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to be with whoever was in town. That dude is, I'm telling you, it's some dude. And I can tell y'all how I know it's some dude. So, um, like I said, they had Latoya. Joe come back. He pissed off again. Madder than the motherfucker. But they determined to make it work. Determined to make it work. 
Fuck around and have Michael. You know what I'm saying? Determined to make it work. You know how it's determined to make it work? Because guess what? We have another child that come out that looks like Joe. Randy. Randy Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Randy. Ain't really looked at that much. But had soul and everything just like a daddy. Wasn't no Mike. But he was damn sure with Joe Jackson. You know what I'm saying? With that big ass bass jaw long just like Tito if you're looking at him. None of these motherfuckers don't look like motherfuckers. What you call yourself? Tito and, and, and goddamn uh, uh, Jackie back there. These motherfucking uh, 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 Jermaine and, and, and Mike, they got the same daddy. I don't know who the fuck Marlon daddy is. I haven't figured that out. But that nigga Fro ain't the same. So with that being said, we get back to the business. You have Mike and all this other shit. And then you have Randy. You know what I'm saying? This is where I feel like Katie was just determined to do what the fuck she was going to do. Because she joined the Jewish religion. When uh the Catholic religion, when they got, you know what I'm saying, and they had a lot of shit, and they got a nasty background and all this other shit. I mean, you can go research that shit. This is why I feel like she told Michael, sat down with Michael, and told him, this is okay. This is okay. This is a way of showing love. Because Mike went from fucking loving disco, you know what I'm saying, hanging out with the punks and all this other shit, because everybody knew Mike was a punk. You know what I'm saying? He was a faggot. He like to do coke and drugs and all that other shit. To the next thing you know, he whiter than the motherfucker. And he talking about love and all this other shit. Because the story wasn't done. Katie needed her story told. And Mike was the talentedest one to do it. You gonna do this. You ain't releasing no music unless you do this. She got enough power where she got tired of motherfucking goddamn Quincy. Uh, not Quincy Jones, but uh, uh, Motown period. Fucking her son. Not her sons. Ain't nobody want her goddamn sons. They wanted Mike. You know what I'm saying? Something infatuated about them Jewish Catholic motherfuckers. They just love a, a motherfucking little person being a young person. You know what I mean? I mean, a young person being an older person. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? They get infatuated by it. They pervert motherfuckers. But she got tired of that shit and had, a, and had enough power to haul lads and friends. Remember, she joined the Catholic people. You know what I'm saying? And we can, the Jews, the CIA, and CBS, and how that connect, that's a whole nother long story. But at the same time, when they signed a contract with CBS, what came out of that? The Pepsi shit, where Mike got fucked up, and then all of a sudden he white. You understand? And then you got the, the motherfucking, the best album ever told that can't nobody make sense of. They can't make sense of it because it was her life story. Look who the songs are dedicated to. They're dedicated to because she inspired those songs and she told them what to write about. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to sit down and write a song to inspire a song. What was she inspired about? By her shit in Gary, Indiana. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all, Gary, Indiana was like Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? It was about her, what? Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who says that I you listen to the music. That's her life story. Mike playing the part of whoever, rather it be her daddy or whoever the fuck she was fucking at the time. You know what I'm saying? I know this story sounds crazy and far-fetched, but I'm going to keep up with me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they had Randy. You know that shit ain't work out. Because she was in love with whoever the fuck she was in love with and had Janet. You understand? This is an entertainment family, so they down with the sacrifice and everything. They were going to be a musical family regardless because she was already in the shit as a quote-unquote country singer slash artist. So they knew the ropes. They knew the rituals. They knew all this shit that they had to do to be down. You know what I'm saying? If I'm lying, I'm flying. This is how I further let people know she knew that Mike was touching them fucking goddamn kids. And as long as his mama didn't agree with y'all, Everything was going to be all right because they know the magic. You know what I'm saying? The magic code word was love. They hit y'all with that word love. Y'all can't even attack Mike like y'all want to. But go back to that Cat Williams skit where, they, where Cat Williams was like, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. After that, nigga Cat Williams, Cat Williams went on a spree of, of, of jail runs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't fucking out with this. This lady is very powerful. If you worth $50 million, goddamn right, you powerful. 
But y'all ask the question, how is she the, worth $50 million and she's the matriarch? That's because when she went over there to CBS and y'all seen that shit in the movie where they got back together and Mike did the moonwalk and all that shit, she sponsored that shit. She put his ass with gay ass Quincy Jones. They had a vision. She was going to play out her shit because y'all got to remember she always wanted to be an actress and a country singer. Her story had to be told. Mike tried to tell his story with off the wall. I told y'all that nigga was off the wall. He was on the coke and he was doing the disco shit. And nigga Mike was buying tigers and shit. Nigga Mike was a real ass gay ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't until his mama had done put his ass down with that other shit and had his ass doing that weird shit. Nigga Mike was operating at a low vibration. So he reverted back to childhood. Because his mama made it unhappy for him. Work, 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 work. Well, damn, when I was a child, I had a little bit of friends, a little bit of time. You know what I'm saying? You tell me why a grown-ass man revert like that. Because he's down with the shits and he's acting alone. You know what I'm saying? Mike was always trying to look for privacy. Always trying to look for privacy. You can never find no privacy because his mama made sure she knew where everywhere he was going. Talking about she made sure that they didn't do that to his nose. She told him to do that to his nose. She told the doctors to do that to his nose. Told that nigga to make a motherfucker pink. You can bleach a motherfucker. You will just turn white overnight. Even if you do have real a lot going, you want it's a process, nigga. But she had that money on. Why? Because of the contract of fucking CBS, where she got to do the movie, the Jackson Five, um, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's because when she was 33, she had done reached a motherfucking hierarchy where she could call the shot. This is why she set up there and blamed Joe for whooping them kids. Look, you going to say you whooped them goddamn kids or you not going to get none of this goddamn money? And Joe, being a weak-ass motherfucker, he took the shit and always still claimed, man, I ain't never whooped them kids like that. That's because she did whoop they motherfucking ass right in the shape. You know what I'm saying? And this story been coming for a long time. Y'all can doubt me on this shit. Like I said, I done did my research. So, but with that, with that being said, let's get back to the shits. You know what I'm saying? The story, this is it's basically, like I said, this is all it is in a nutshell. You know what I'm saying? Because you look at it and she's the monarch. No, she found it, Mike. I wouldn't even say found it, Mike. She made his ass get up there. You know what I'm saying? Because we talking about a kid. Kid don't know nothing about being a superstar, but the parents do. And she still, she thought she was stuck with them goddamn kids. Well, I'm going to live my dream through Mike. Thriller, the biggest motherfucking non-making sense ass album of the whole history. And it's dedicated to her. Y'all figure out why. Is it because that's her life? Look at the videos and shit that Mike did. How in the hell he had time to know about the 1950s retros and all this other shit? You understand? This lady sat down with Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones brought her vision to life. Pay attention. You understand? And I'm so pissed off because this is she has looked at that as the matriarch of music. This shit is a lie. The American dream was a nightmare. You understand? And this is why I, was, I, I make a video about Mike ass. You know what I'm saying? Good music, all that motherfucking shit. But he touched them goddamn kids. He touched them goddamn kids. But if you go look up next view, you'll understand what I'm fucking talking about. You got people out there, bitch, who sell their kids for money. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, that just wrapped this up, man. I just wanted to let y'all know this John Horse. I ain't trying to say the word. I got an opinion. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this shit. Who is it?